BBC Northern Ireland journalist Andy Pagg is in Nice. He witnessed last night's events. Andy, what new details have emerged during the day about the attack? Well, last night was a very confused picture, but today the fog of that confusion has been clearing. So new details have emerged. For instance, we've learned that there are 50 people still very badly injured here. Francois Hollande uh, talked about uh, them hanging between life and death. Um, some of them here in this, in this hospital here, the uh, Pasteur Hospital uh, in the north of Nice, some of them in another hospital on the other side of town. We've also learned a little bit more about the crime itself. For example, there were three areas where the crowds were particularly densely packed, including one area uh, in front of a jazz band that had struck up immediately after the fireworks. And in those three areas, those were where the casualty rates were the highest. And we've also learned a little bit about the criminal. Uh, the, uh, the police still not confirming the suspect that they're looking at. However, the profile, of, the profile of the man whose house they searched today suggests that perhaps this crime is of a different mould to that of the Paris attacks. Andy, what are your thoughts and the mood of other people in Nice this evening? Well, uh, that's a, I mean, that's a really interesting question. I think if I think back to this morning, I got up quite early to have a look around the, uh, the town. Um, and at about seven o'clock, you, you wouldn't have known that anything had happened. You know, the street sweepers were out. The guys on the beach were laying out their, uh, their um, sunbeds. And it was almost like there was a denial, like the obscenity of what happened the night before was so big that people just couldn't accept it. And through the course of the day, people have been coming down to this enormous area, the heart of the city, the Promenade des Anglais, just to, to bear witness and to try and make sense of what's happened. So I think the mood has slowly been changing from one of, uh, as I say, denial to moving into trying to make sense and trying to accept and understand what happened. Andy Pagg in Nice, thank you.